Welcome back everyone to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you for coming by. This week I decided to go back to a tried and true method I just love on this 20 by 24 inch canvas with some black oxide base as my color. Leading into a swipe with four colors, two from Folk Art and two from Amsterdam. And first off, we're going to just spread our black oxide around corner to corner, making sure to spread the base as equally as possible before leading into some color. Now also don't, don't forget to pop any pinholes with a torch or a flame of some sort a heat source, I suppose, to pop those bubbles to make sure and avoid any pinholes which may come up later on. Okay, and as for this color, I'm using for the first time in a few months some pearl paints from Amsterdam. I decided to go with some pearl blue and some pearl white as a cool combination in addition to some folk art blue flash and blue violet flash which i just love and now as i layer these two colors off the hop i actually had to stop and take a moment because i realized my colors were out of order so when i put my cup down i stood back and realized my pearls were too far towards me they should have been more towards the middle to allow for more color behind them so close to my body where I'm kind of reflecting there down on the black. So the four colors would begin there and end there. So I'm really kind of behind the eight ball, but decided just to keep going and layer them behind where it was. So this is not ideal for where I want my colors to be initially because it's gonna cause a bit of a long and kind of drawn out swipe from the beginning. So I did learn my lesson to pay attention to where your paint is going to be initially so i gotta have to improvise with this color and this swipe but again lesson learned for more patience and just you know again there's no race to get to the end before you're all done so i've got to swipe through these colors and then up towards the very top of the canvas which looking back on looks actually quite nice as this lacing stretches out there's some really pretty purple and blue and, you know, crisp, nice white lacing as well. So this turned out quite well, all in all. As for the second swipe, equally as good, this paint really mixed quite well. It was very equally as fluid as I needed for each color. So I'm quite happy with the lacing structure and how it all turned out. Okay, and having learned my lesson from the first little bit of color there, I'm gonna put my colors more in the middle, which will help you get my colors where I want them for my swipes. So here is my pearl blue going down first for the first bit of um, color on this one. Again, going into the pearl white by Amsterdam. Now I've decided to try these colors with Amsterdam and then the folk art color shifting colors in combination having had success in the past with them. I'm curious how tomorrow when this is dry, how the pearl colors may decide to change as they dry, as they do change color on a darker base kind of over time. So with this cool little color blend between the acrylics by Amsterdam and the folk art, I'm curious tomorrow how this may turn out once it's all dried up. Now, I also really love the color shifting acrylics by a full cart. Now, the color shift, if you haven't tried, give off a kind of a shimmer of two different colors. Now, this purple is actually a bit of a tint of purple on one side, and depending on your light in your room, is more of a silver on the other. So, again, depending on your lighting and where you are, it is a very cool contrast. Now, as we go in for the second set of swipes, for my third and fourth swipe, um, again, this went quite well. I was very happy with how the layering came out of the off the palette knife and down to the top. Now on the last swipe, we're going to go one more time through and just give that palette a, again, going very slow, being mindful of how fast I'm going, wanting to maintain the structure of my lacing, but also give a cool little color blend of the acrylics.
And as I go in for my tilts, I always try to determine where the paint is on the canvas. So if it's, let's say, top heavy or bottom heavy and is kind of off center, this kind of allows me to feel out where the paint is and where I should start tilting first. So in this case, I had more paint on the top left corner as I saw it looking down on the painting as we go here. So I decided to kind of wiggle the front, not really tilt it hard because I was concerned as well, having known how much paint was on the canvas that I didn't want to dump too much off right away because um, again, my concern was I didn't have enough paint for all four corners. So being mindful of how fast to go and how much paint to actually tilt off in the first place. And now generally as a rule for myself anyhow, I like to kind of go back to the center of the canvas before moving on to the next corner of the tilt. So off the first corner, I bring the color back into the middle and then move into my second corner being the one top right looking at it as we see it now through the video. Um, again, I'm being, being very careful with how much paint does fall off the sides and the back. So I had to be you know, very careful with all the color kind of falling off the side there, not to lose it all entirely, but needed to get that corner right off and try to save a little bit of lacing as best I could on the very edge, which does eventually leave some contrast for the piece itself. Now, again, going back to the middle to make sure you kind of recentered and refocused for the third and fourth corner. Okay, now as I tilt off this third corner, I am incredibly mindful of where my color actually is. So I decided to bring my swipes up to the top of the canvas on purpose because I want the focal points to be dominant in the purple and the blue color shift versus the pearl paints by Amsterdam. So I wanted the purple on top to begin with anyway. So I want to stretch this as far as possible Again, knowing for myself anyhow that the color shift will change colors both ways and the more coverage I have on the canvas entirely of this purple, the more dynamic and more, again, shimmery the painting will turn out. So I was very, again, careful to keep as much purple as I could, knowing that it was going to be one of my primary colors I wanted to focus in on in the first place. Okay, just bringing this color back to the center before I set it down for the final reveal. And now as we go in for a bit of an overhead close up on the final product, here we go. Um, the lacing structure and color combinations I just love. I think that the purple and blue color shift work really well. The lacing turned out gorgeous. I did use a brand new batch of cell activator, which I think did the trick this time around. And I'm very pleased with how this turned out. I would be curious to know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, so please give me a quick thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, we will see you again in the next one.